So before this video gets started, if you are an Uber driver, a Lyft driver, or a gig worker, and you want paid time off, if you want paid time off, sick leave, you want protection if you get into accidents, if you want income protection, if you want um, protection if you ever get deactivated, hospitalized, if you ever if you ever do get deactivated and you want your account back as well, there's a brand new company that just launched and they got $1.6 million in funding. They're doing same day cash transfers to drivers, to gig workers for um, you know paid time off, all that stuff. If you want that, the company's called Cover. And if you use my link down below, you get 30 days for free. It does start at seven bucks a month. But again, if you use my link, you get 30 days for free. No commitments, no annual contracts. You can cancel and pause at any time. The company's called Cover. At least check it out. At least click my link down below and accept that gift of 30 days for free. And now let's get on to the video. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name's Dylan. Thank you so much for coming by. So. In today's video, we are talking about the possibility of Uber and Lyft ending. Is Uber and Lyft actually gonna end? And is it not only ending in California, but is it ending in other states as well, and even overseas? These are the questions I'm gonna be tackling in today's topic. Um, I myself am an Uber driver and a Lyft driver, Postmates driver, Uber Eats driver, DoorDash driver, and soon to be Grubhub driver, and Instacart shopper. I am currently active on all of these platforms. Well, Grubhub, I'm still finishing my onboard, but I just wanted to say that to clarify that because, you know, I am, like, this is directly affecting me. I went out and did Uber, drove for Uber last week. Uh, I went out and did Postmates the other day. I did Uber Eats the other day. Uh, I've done Instacart recently. I am in the midst of all this, so this is why I'm doing so much research on this and sharing this with you because as I, uh, read up on all this stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is affecting not only me, but so many other people I just need to share with you guys. So that's the reason why there are a lot of videos. So go back and, you know, go through my videos because I break down every single topic that's going on with this. So if you guys don't know, just a super brief background. Late last year in 2019, there was a law passed. I'm going to keep this as short as possible. Uh, there was a law passed called AB5. It was a bill that got signed into law that would reclassify independent contractors as employees. It would make it much more difficult for, so actually in companies, um, I am a small business owner as well. Like I own a company um, and I have, like if I want to hire somebody in California, I, um, I can't hire them as an independent contractor. I have to hire them as an employee. They, I can't just pay them cash to do a task. Like they need to be, uh, like if they're gonna be like, like sure, if I'm hiring a photographer, sure, he can be an independent contractor. But if I'm hiring like an assistant, like they have to be an employee, not an independent contractor. That's the way the law works now. And hair, sal like, hair salons, they can't hire um, a hairstylist on an independent contractor. They need to be an employee if they're gonna be working there, like consistently. That's the way it works now, in California at least. And Uber and Lyft, what are all the drivers? They're, so, the way it works is if if a worker is performing the a task that is like necessary to the function to the successful functionality of the app or of the of the business, they have to be an employee. That's the way it works with like a hair salon. Obviously, a hairstylist performs like without the hairstylist, can't like run a salon. Without Uber drivers and Lyft drivers, you can't run the apps, right? Uber says Uber and Lyft said no. Well, Uber said. Oh, actually, drivers are not core to our business model. We're a technology platform, not a taxi company. That made a lot of people mad, made the government mad. Uber basically just didn't comply with the law at all. And for the past year, I mean, I've still been an independent contractor. And um, a regulatory agency about a month ago called CPUC, California Public Utilities Commission, if it doesn't make sense to you, don't worry. But basically, it was kind of wishy-washy because Uber's whole argument was, oh, that bill doesn't apply to us at all. Then this regulatory agency said, actually, yes, it does. So um, Uber and Lyft were like, shoot. So they started making these changes. Uber introduced Drive Pass, allowed drivers to make 100% commission on their rides, but drivers still had to pay for the rides. Uber could set, Uber drivers could set their own rates here in California. It's super weird. Um, and then literally on a Monday, three days ago, uh, a superior court 
sued Uber <laughs> and Lyft and said uh, they made a, a ruling saying that you have 10 days to make your employees, to make all your workers employees or else you are breaking the law. So this is like official, official, official now. So just, just so you guys know, that's the full backstory. That's all you really need to know. Um, so now Uber and Lyft, they both said, okay, well, um, we're going to appeal that. And then we also are going to introduce prop a proposition called Prop 22, which will allow the public to vote on whether Uber and Lyft drivers are employees or independent contractors. Um, but that doesn't happen until November. So Uber and Lyft said, okay, well, if this court case doesn't get appealed or overruled with you know, within 10 days, we're going to shut down um, because we can't make all of our drivers employees right now. Lyft said, we don't have enough time. Uber said, um, we just simply can't. <laughs> I don't know. They said they're gonna, um, yeah, basically, the, I mean, that's that's like the big update. Again, we that was on Monday. Today's Thursday. You're probably watching this on Friday when I upload this. Um, so, there still is about six more days until, you know, that 10 day period. Actually today, which was more news, is that Uber and Lyft went back to court with that same judge who made that ruling and said, hey, can we have another 10 days? The judge said, no, you can't. Um, it's final 10 days, that's final. They denied their appeal. The judge was actually pretty funny. He said um, the the Uber and Lyft lawyers were like asking him detailed questions about it and he goes, uh, th literally he goes, read my order again, I worked hard on it. And he didn't even answer the guy's question. So the, the judge is not like a softy. The judge is pretty hard. <laughs> He's, um, and yeah, so basically Uber and Lyft is probably gonna shut down until that November prop it gets voted on. So most likely in California, this will be three months of no Uber and Lyft. And then in other states as well, this will probably um, start happening, I'm assuming slowly in other states as well. So once this happens in California, I'm assuming it's gonna start happening in Florida, in New York, um, in Texas, I'm all the states. <laughs> I'm assuming they're gonna break it off and then it'll probably go worldwide. Because honestly, in my opinion, I don't know if employee is the right word terminology for it. Obviously, I don't, well, maybe not obviously, but I don't want to sign up to be a full-time Uber driver and have a scheduled shift, no. But I do believe in having access to um, fair oh, fair wage. And I think at the time it's set, at the, the way it's set up currently is that it's set up for a lot of Uber and Lyft drivers to fail, a lot of Uber and Lyft drivers to be underpaid um, in a lot of markets, it's really easy to go out and not make that much money. I mean, that's why we exist, the Rideshare Hub, to help drivers make more money because if you go out and if you go sign up on your own and start driving, it's really difficult to succeed. So, um, yeah, I mean, I again, I, I think that drivers should, like, get overtime pay. If you're working over 40 hours a week, I think you should get time and a half. I think you should also get paid time off paid sick days if you feel sick should stay home and not have to go out and drive not have to make that choice like any normal job you would just call in sick and you know if you have a sick day you just get paid for that day or if, or if you don't want to use our sick days you cash them out at the end some incentives a raise maybe if you do i don't know if you do every thousand rides you do as a driver maybe get i don't know an increase in pay i don't know what it is but like at the, i just know that at the way it is right now it's not ideal and i think actually do commend the government for actually stepping in again i don't know if they're whatever the government wants or whatever uber wants i don't know what is correct but i i do think that change this change in this case is good so um yeah guys anyways that's the update just so you guys know i just wanted to make this update video because i know there is a lot of people talking on the internet a lot of articles coming out so i just wanted to make this update but anyways make sure to subscribe because i will be coming out with updates and leave the video with a thumbs up if you enjoy my videos, if you want me to keep making more videos, it helps me out a lot. Please, if you support me at all, if you want to support me, please leave the video a thumbs up. 
Anyways, like, make sure to subscribe and check out Cover if you want access to benefits and protections right now as a gig worker. I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.